sure they want to wipe that one away. Goosed on up. Flames aggressive out the second mid window. Will be pepperoni and dropping back towards the site. The 1x bet odds at the top of your screen. And they have swung to favor. Oof. OG. I just realized as well, G2, as outlined by our desk, uh, have been having most of their trouble on the T side and making it work. And they're straight back from the Mirage shortcomings. I think they had one T round to the nine or so of OG to finish. Well, now they're back to the T side start here on Inferno. And let's see if they can get off to a bit of a winning start. We've got Nexa lining up Util and Amanek as well. So double long side Util used on the A site. And there's four members of OG here to receive them. Oh, this is looking like a hefty fake right now. The bomb is on Amanek. And you could still pivot back towards B where Nico is towards the top of Banana. Feigning mid control. And I think they're going to go in the fade of the smoke. Actually flashed on through. Alexi B can't catch them all. And he gets nothing for his troubles. Oh, they can wrap. This is exactly what they were hoping for. Looking very promising here, G2. They've isolated the jewel and isolated the B site completely. Hunter's even here to catch the rotate like Flames is. Uh... Yeah, the kit's there in library as well. Oh, yeah. He's going to want to poke his head in to retrieve that. And it might cost him his life. Hunter's looked the wrong way. Oh, he knows the kit's gone, though. So no, somebody's <laughs> around. <laughs> Something so fishy is afoot. Ah, there's the kit thief. But back on his bottom. Yeah, and look right now, Vod and Mantu are going to spawn. So Flames actually wanted to save that and carry it through the next round of play. OG have conceded this pistol round already. And those smokes that they used over towards the A site, just to give you guys a little bit more context on why so many members were on the A site side of them, that's very indicative of an A play. The Moto smoke, the Arch smoke, you want to be in front of that. You can't assist from library or long side through that whatsoever. So they've hedged their bets. As soon as Alexi gets nothing for his troubles and the kill goes down on the B bomb site onto Nico, that's all over. G2 with a fantastic little fake there. So nice mix up. Just some fun stuff if you are tuning into the Pro League here. Uh, we're running from the 16th. Ooh, all there wants to live. Don't go down. Okay. Almost, almost went down there. So, yeah, we're running from the 16th of August all the way up until the grand final, which will be on Sunday, the 12th of September. That's 28 days. There's two days off within that time period, one of which is coming tomorrow. So just thought I'd let you all know that tomorrow there is an off day, and then the next off day will be on the 6th of September, just before we get into the playoffs. So you basically get Counter-Strike for four weeks straight. Woo! And lots to watch, lots to sink your teeth into, and... As per Pro League tradition, we can't try and keep things a little bit lighter, a little bit more on the uh, the fun side of things. The serious vibes will come. Don't you worry about that. Oh, I'd just love it if the casters could just talk about the game. Oh, I just I'm so edgy. I identified they weren't talking about the game at this moment. You, you sound like you have like quite the emo fringe cut? Yeah, that was what I was going okay, for. Okay, I, yeah. I got it. Like a yeah. salad fingers type person. Uh, you know? well, I'm there, I'm there. Well, this force by Banana is about the heat on up. And oh, Nico taking down Flames has called it off immediately. They've gallivanted back towards the top. Banana, Alexi B with the CZ Ooh. strikes gets the first, Ooh. almost the second. Good damage now as Mantu's Deagle strikes. Oh, brother. That leaves a mark. G2. They've been handed an interesting puzzle to solve. It's going to be Amanek and Hunter partnered up, and Amanek 10 is in play, which is certainly his most potent of his weapons, certainly early into the play, and up against unarmored heads in Mantu and Nico. Hunter alongside with his weapon. He'll be taking contact first. Nico to receive with the Desert Eagle. It's going to be about the jiggles here from Hunter. A little bit of concentration on Nico's face. He's ready for the fight. 30 second mark reached. Amanek's crawling up short. Nothing to report just yet. This crossfire reactive and based on Nico's contact. Library smoke. Nico readies himself for action. And Hunter very quick on that. Off angle for Valder. They Spot get him. the info and they'll take him down as well. Solid handling so far. And OG's man advantage just dissolves. Mansu's going to go see where he can find a banana to pick up here. And I think it will be the save of that AK. Look how much utility he scoops up as well. A smoke and a Molotov for his troubles. And this will be better to carry forward. He can drop his Deagle across or the AK in the next round of play, and OG can be a little bit more deadly. But for a moment there, that almost got out of control. Hunter again on the long side. Impact two rounds in a row, just being found with a simple kill. Right, That's all he needed to get there, right? Was that one kill onto Nico, alleviate all the pressure. They jump and bound into the site together. Valder lying in wait does not get anything for his troubles. And 2-0 and for G2 now. So starting to build up a little bit of steam here. If they had lost an early one like that, right, uh, in that fashion, oh, I would only start to worry about the mental over there. Got threatening, really threatening. I mean, Alexi nearly took two with his CZ. Mantu did very well to finish what his leader started. 
But yeah, very well handled by Hunter, as you already outlined. It's two for two so far in his long takes. If there's any mathematicians out there, or you don't even have to be a mathematician, anybody with solid rationale who could maybe have a little bit of a look and uh, make an argument for or against why the CZ has a $100 kill bonus still. Or it used to make sense when the thing was like an absolute monster of a sidearm, but now that it takes a while, you only get 24 bullets in total, 12 to start off with, and then 12 to reload. Uh, a only a $100 kill reward, it doesn't feel like it's, value for money It's there. very hard to justify with the new like uh, economic rewards as well. Yeah. Like those extra 300s really add up and make break points so often. It, the, the thing is, you have to question how many players we see using that pistol as well, right? But to be fair, you don't see... You're seeing more and more Tech 9s. You don't see a lot of 5.7s. Yeah, I mean, and the argument that, that I guess that, that's most common that oh. someone would... Oh, yeah. Chicken's Chicken got and a bomb. bomb. Someone has it, at least. Yeah, it's good as in safe hands. Well, we'll see if that becomes a problem. I don't think it is. Nico's on his way back over now. Mantu's actually getting flash forward, and the AK... No more. Whee! Hold gets up. away with it. That's not bad. Houdini. Yeah, and he's got a frag as well. Necks are punished for sticking around around the smoke. And that might channel them back. Flames with a recovered rifle. He's going to channel them into what is just P250s and Deagles. So, shouldn't be much more for OG to be said about this one. He wants a quick click and it's hard to track that strafe out of Amonek around the corner. Accelerates, draws the crosshair, nothing to report. Flames has got the AK here in time to perhaps have something to say about this. Valder tucked in on Mini. Could have a threat. Should they drop? Good attention drawn, surviving as best he can. Nico from OG with the frag and now a chance perhaps for Valder D. Just shy of the mark on both the pot shots. 3-0, G2. Yeah, couldn't quite steady the crosshair there. You could see it was getting a bit frantic. Flames, if he popped out, gets a kill. Different story again. But two rounds for OG that are not too shabby. And, and the problem is they probably feel like they could have won both of those. So good damage. Didn't get what they were looking for. Poor Alexi, right? You, you wait and you just want to put a couple of P250 bullets in the dome, but forcing that crosshair wide. Good use of the MAC-10 by Amanek. And here we go. First rifle round underway. No defuse kit for OG. Lots of utility here, and they're not using it too eagerly. Holding on to it. Looks like they want to play a passive stance across the map right now. Alexi and Flames with no information, top banana. Or at least not visible, audible. A lot of Molotovs, a lot of Flames. And over towards the top of middle, well, Mantu's just been smoked off towards long side. So they are in the dark right now, OG. They're going to have to defend on this B-bomb site where the attack appears to be coming in a 2-1-5. Oh, this is perfect. Flames got so much work ahead of him. Flashes for Alexi, who actually tries to dip into the smoke. It's not going to work out for him, and now Flames all alone. Might be a save. Yeah, unless he finds more than one here, which he has managed to do. It might be competitive. Mantu's arrived as well. That's the AWP, though. Nico and Valda very late to the party. They are coming to the party, though. Fashionably late. Lots of nades for the retake still. If they could force that new box fight. Nades are good. Nexa swallows it. Mantu's got past his line. Those are good utility as well, but ahead of them, above the emo boxes, is an issue. Running out of time here, boys. OG just maybe playing for the last second. Here comes Valder. They know one's banana. And they're giving up. They don't have the time for the defuse here. They'll just try and get away from the next spray. Makes it costly. Solid conversion again, G2. They make it four. And that's again just exploiting this time that B bomb site going nice and quick. No time for the rotates, isolating those jewels. And yeah, Alexi getting caught on his smoke play as well. Let's see this. Is it just Nico spraying through? Okay. He knew something was up right there. No, that's uh, making sure you have somebody in line who's not flash, who's ready to spam through the smoke, be ready for any of those pushes. Perfect stuff there from G2. The retake did look good for OG in, in patches, but the fact that CT was smoked meant that Nexa, even though the new box molly was good, he could just chill. He mm. didn't look panicked whatsoever. So good stuff there from G2 to convert. But if you're OG, you can't operate without mid control or without banana control. You need one of the two. And uh, in that first gun round, they didn't have either. This time, banana seems to be they want to apply some pressure. Nico on the other side, though, and his AK wow. it cannot beat the Famous of Flames. Yeah, that's a real confidence booster for Flames. That's up against Nico, up against Nico with an AK, no less. And a straight up head to head. 
he doesn't have a gun right now. He's, He's off find the AK. AK so. Eventually gets it. Yeah, that would be a little bit sad if you threw away the Famous and then couldn't find the AK. But now top mid being tested, and Mantu's going to be in a bit of trouble here, I think. He really wants to fight here, but flashed off the line. He's so stubborn. He still wants to fight, and it's rewarded. Hunter's down. Nice shot. Very nice. Now problems. This feels like OG's first. Yeah, be very hard for them to isolate anyone, really. I mean, Alexi B posted up on long. They've had a lot of success on long with Hunter and his handiwork in the opening, too. But He's fully committed here. Next, a nice draw. Does adjust quickly, despite having a 90 degree angle to trifle with. And now Amalek surging through the CT spawn. He's looking the wrong way. It's a freebie for Valder. Oh, no. And Flames overextending with his knife out. It will be a race now between Jax and Nex has got another. G2 are making this one competitive. And with just five seconds left, Valder can play to deny the bomb. Jax looking the wrong way. Oh, he's Tags him it. up. Tags him up. But the time is on oh, the side. Oh, the TK! <laughs> Jax! <laughs> Finishes on a four of Jax, no! He's just no, on the, Jax! He's on the high alert. <laughs> There's bodies all around me, I can hear them. <laughs> That's just a straight up execution. See that Next one again. Be running at him, like trying to help him. I, I'm like sprinting. He's just trying to I'm coming, bro. I'll be there in a second, okay? Oh, no! Dr <laughs> drills him in the back of the head. Next is going to be so confused. I think Jax is the one that's more confused. Oh, what was that? <laughs> oh, okay. G2, they have to eco. No bomb down. Oh, interesting one right there. Let's let's hope that's laughed off. Yeah, well, if this round's anything to go by, I think it's going to be a quick one. Flames has already charged on down. He's won his head-to-head -head with Nico two rounds out of two. This time, I think, a little more favoured. <laughs> It wasn't like it was in a smoke or like... No, it just ran it was, through. Yeah, it was obviously a chaotic situation. I just can't. I, okay. Let, oof. Oh, that was fun. Okay. I haven't heard you lose it like that in some time. No, it's been a while. Yeah, it's good to see. Jax, the comedian. I can still giggle. Oh, no fun for anyone. That is, unless, of course, your OG. Very happy to be posting their second, trying to juggle flames of rifle. Can't quite get it down in time. Oh, a little bit of an issue with Mantu going down there. Uh, if it was somebody else, Mantu probably would have been in the area to buy an AWP. Mm. Uh, but now he's just having to operate with a rifle. So they're not going to have the optimal CT side of buy that OG would be looking for here. And I think Mantu, with his re-aggress onto that boiler position... Oh, oh. he's been knifed. Okay, so not the prettiest of starts from OG out the gates here, but they are up against a Galil and an MP7. So they convert this one, then there's no worries about that AWP. You'll see it come out very, very soon. They've uh, put a lot of faith into flames on this one. Just an MP9 to, and, and a HE, as you discussed, to yeah. hold the entire beast bomb site. Yeah, use all your nades and then... Uh, hold it with an SMG. Just get it done, mate. Don't slow him down with any smokes. Don't have any support. There's literally no support. Volda is the... Flames is on an island right now. If a BXQ was to come in, it'd be all Wilson! over. Wilson! He's making friends with He's Coconut. He's with the Deagle as yeah. well. Like, you know, he knows that he needs the long range. So this is a massive gamble call from Alexi B and... OG right now. Oh, he's not in there. The next of this this badly is easy. Really in the the reads this quickly into the half. There's he's still time to pivot. You know, like they're not committed to going back to A, but it is looking very likely. Oh, quick one out of the gate. Amanek tests the water in mid, and it's boiling hot. Good util dump. Oh. Look what it's done to the health of G2. They're starting to come back to B, but fortunately for Flames, he's got the support of Valder here. Back on the MP9 now, ready for a close quarters engagement. Valder to take contact up against Jax, and it falls apart for G2. Great defense out of OG. They're back. What looks really sketchy for a moment there. It looked magnificent.
right? All that damage done, they were more than ready for that walk up mid. It was just a couple of limp flashes. They dodged those. The mollies weren't great either. And then, yeah, Flames now gets an upgrade. So into the AK, he won't be. Harry and Hugo are getting kind of rem remissed about. Your kinder go kill. Yeah, and, and it doesn't, it will, will, it, but it will work. Yeah. It will work this time. I, I just have a feeling. Flames working his magic on that second mid pistol push. Ooh, nade on the nose. Nico's next. And Hunter's the last man standing only for a second longer. So we tie things up. Nice and paired up four to four. Yeah, real changing here. It was four straight for G2 out of the gates with the pistol, the conversions, etc. And uh, now we're looking at four straight back from OG. And the last three rounds that they've won, they've only, lo uh, they've only lost one member. So doing it in quite the fashion now. They will have to withstand this gun round that does not have the T-sided Amanek or, or I should say the T-sided Nico or We saw Nico actually yeah. picking it up a lot on the T-side yesterday. So important round here for both sides. Two on the trot required for G2 to break the bank of OG. We have to have that discussion a little bit closer because of saves and all those economical decisions. But we are just fanning on out right now into a default spread. Jackson, Nico working on banana control. Amanek and Hunter paired up together to get Boiler and Halls and Nexa swinging between the two of them. Yeah, Nico was in a very aggressive angle. He's just pulled himself out of trouble as the G2 squad arrive. Banana being fought for, and it does seem to be pulling Valda away. This is Inferno after all. There's going to be a pendulum swinging between top mid and Banana until a final decision is made. The CTs to try and perceive how much of that presence is real. Nade looks like it's destined for some good damage there. Wow, yeah, nearly 100 chunked out of the G2 camp. 45 to defend. Valda floats back. He's got a good feeling for this. That's the pit side smoke. Towards default, they're going to aim towards long side though. Good elevated angle from Mantu. Valder even strikes on long. G2 starting to disintegrate. More bodies dropped. Almanac looking the wrong way. It's only the short pairing. And now there's so much util to dump. He'll peek off the flash. A perfect defense. Oji could have a five-man standing defense here unless Hunter's got other plans, which he certainly does. One more. On to Mantu. Here we go. Okay, a chance onto the third. Nico was exposed. And so 5 OG, 4 G2, but that is five in a row from the CT squad. Yeah, now, all right, so there's two extra frags within that. So in the last patch of four rounds, we've had three kills, and those two were on the way out the door, right? They're not of the most impact whatsoever. Money's still good for OG and a great defense right there. I, I like the utility usage. You know, you bang on there with something. You have right now on the CT side, 133 utility damage for Mantu, 149 for Valder. 70 plus for the likes of Flames and Alexi, and well, the aggression keeps on coming. Out the second mid window, Volda, maybe a little bit overzealous there. It is just against these pistols. There's now an M4 that's been scooped on up into the hands of Jax. These are the rounds you two win. These are the rounds you don't want to lose if you're OG. Nico's alive with his Deagle. They've got more than enough to make this one something. This is one of the situations where you're going to try and make a read as Alexi B, right? Are you going to go for like a 1-3? Are you going to go for a 2-2? Well, it looks like they might just want to get over towards A because G2 are coming. They're putting so much pressure right now on the short side. Jack still has that M4, but Hunter has been picked. This is a chance for the dig of Nico. No, not to be. Flames denies. And next up, woof, quick one on the Deagle. He's all alone, though, and there's just too many men. Alexi overwhelms. OG do manage to react in time. Okay, this is looking great. Six in a row. How many are they going to get? How many before this stops? G2. I am very grateful that we're not seeing any AWPs out of the G2 squad. Maybe that's a financially driven uh, decision, but uh, we did see a lot more of the, the first, the previous Inferno we saw out of G2. It's good to see five AK-47s trying to break through this wall OG have established. And a wall it really is. They've got every bell, whistle, nade, and weapon they could desire. A 3-2 split initially. You're going to be seeing Alexi not really choose to jump any nades on Banana. Nothing more than a flashbang. And testing top mid quickly, Hunter. Oh, Hunter takes them both. There you go. That's how you break the silence. You just have to send Hunter go kill. Quick double. Already aware of the rotate. He might just step into his aim, and they do. 
Hunter just walking through the site, decides he wants to take the entire team down. And he goes still chilling out here in Graveyard. He would have to do something insane, and that's assuming... Oh, Hunter doesn't clear him. On the scooter, bullet in the back of the head, executed now, and just Alexi B to find. They know that he's a B defender. Will Hunter clear his corners? Here Looking very go. diligent. Oh, nice little off angle played by Alexi. The sound key is too much to enable Hunter for the ace. And now he's hanging out in CT spawn where it all began. Yeah, he's cut off. Nico's over towards B. So in this ruins position, will not be able to escape Alexi B. Next, uh, Amanek and Jax all looking to go for a bit of a full court press on that arch side and sweep between spawn. There's lots of money still for OG. So no dramas just yet. But that all happened very quickly. And one of the things to note here is that OG, they're not doing the three-man banana lean at the start. They're just going with two. And that's like that I have to really go back in some time to think about how Ents used to operate. But I think Ents for the longest time didn't really do those leans. They only were rocking two towards top banana. Alexi B goes down. There you have it. And G2, they break the streak. Yeah, and I don't, unfortunately, don't think that's something you can replicate. Uh, Hunter just walks up top mid. He's got two of them in transition. Gets Falder for free, and then Mantu with the orb missing his first shot, just caught on the bolt. The rest is great. It all falls into, uh, falls into pieces for OG, but Hunter's a big reason for that, just walking through. He knows he's, he's created such a big gap with the double frag early that he just gets to work his magic and live up to that alias of Hunter. Mantu's having a walk down. A flash will cancel his plans. A lot of orbs have been up to that new, I say new, as if it's not been done for years, but returning to that second mid-peak. Yeah, it's With cheeky, right? Everyone's focused on this banana battle, which does mean there's a lot less chances for that fight top mid. Yeah, and especially if you have a good assumption they're not wielding a T-sided AWP as well, you feel a little bit... They've been trying to do this What is going boost. on, Flames? Yeah, they, they run boost him down, and he's actually caught out Nico. Double spray. Jack just walks through as well. So they've been trying that. A nade swallowed by G2 as well. This is really going to sour the mood for the Samurai. If we can catch that on the replay, that'd be cool to see. I don't know if it's just the run bit, like they're trying to get him on the half wall, or if it's just to get him past that half wall line, like he just appears next to it. It might have something to do with the timing of the molly as well. I don't know. We're going to have to watch it back yeah. here. It might not be long before we are in the replays, because essentially two players remaining, if you add it all up. Next up, uh, and Amanek caught Flames' nade. Entirely. Now they're throwing out a little boost of their own. Oopsie. Yeah, it's a bit of bumpy ground there. Never the easiest to be run boosting on the bumpy ground. But the sound cue plus the smoke. The jig's not up. The rotate hasn't come in here. Alexi first to take contact. Oh, and he's fallen off as well. This actually might get dicey. Yeah, it's feeling a bit dicey. Flames is holding this pool position. He's waiting for a little head to crouch on up. And they do. Walk straight on in. Nice find. Amanek down. Alexi very low. Hunter's still a threat. He wouldn't, would he? He didn't get the ace last time. You think he wants it this time? He's always got one of them in it. Repositions towards the coffin. It's light nade damage. Mantu his first contact and posted up nicely on that reaggress. OG7. G2 returned once again straight back down to the doldrums after a brief stint of success thanks to Hunter. Yeah, I think the positive there is that plant that they could salvage, so we will get another buy going here, but... Yeah, Flames just finding himself down banana quite quickly. And the third that he gets, right, it's... it's When you watch these guys do this, it's very rare that you see too many players playing that passive. But you need to understand the puzzle piece that you're working with, right? And for Flames, there it was, all right, well, we're going to concede a lot of the bomb site, and I just have to win this one fight. Pays off in a big way. And oh, I think OG are going to have to be looking at 9 or 10 here. G2 already have a decent half on the T side. Five's not bad, and man two. Oh. Might even keep them there. An opener on to Jax. It's always a great feeling as an AWP, as you say, you know, the words come out of your mouth, taking a look, banana, and immediately you say one down. Now aggression out of Nico, and he actually chooses to engage onto that. That's Hunter. Warded off of his mid-walk. I think that might force them in to be here a little bit quicker. It's definitely got the bomb that side, and they're considering utility. Here they come. It can be Alexi and Mantu to receive. The AWP has not rotated off. Alexi does well to get one ahead of the pack. They're coming in one by one. Single file from G2. Mantu does need to escape. The smoke might enable that Hunter fully flash as he does get picked off in the end. It was Flames' flash and Flames will finish. OG comfortable as G2 were channeled into that site courtesy of Nico. Yeah, that all worked out very, very nicely.
I, I wonder if we see G2 just go back to more of this faster straight up the guts mid type aggression here. Mm -hmm. Now we know that Mansu has been having a look on down. Right there he was in Banana. G2, even though they didn't get the plant, they can full buy. And they will have the max loss bonus going into the last round of play. So a plant here would be great. It guarantees the purchase for everybody. I think three out of the four, uh, five will be able to do it regardless. But here we go. Let's see. What's the mix-up? What's the call? Looks like more of this banana control. A little bit heavier this time into this. Jax, Nico, and Nexa with Amanek throwing the flashes and Hunter quickly coming through the chicken pit. So there's not going to be any pressure over towards A. This might just be a quick accelerate onto the B bomb site. It does look quick, and again, Jack the first to fall. OG win their duels. Alexi on to Nico. He only has one frag to report from his commit to B, and the rest are on their way as well. Good timing of the Molotov. Buys more time for the rotation of Mantu oh, to post ahead of it up, him. and he is there. Nade looks promising as well. Look at this. Yeah, very good stuff so far out of OG. And he's actually caught another. And around the edge of the smoke, this time next are too quick for Alexi. But they can play retake here. Yeah, Nico still hasn't moved. He's still in pit. Uh, they might want to get him over there now that they hear the bomb getting punched on. And Nico starting oh. to make his rotation as more damage is done. They're going to get a little bit of grace here unless they peek into the orb and they're looking likely to do so. Mantu just not catching around the fountain. Can't get the kill and now it's a two on two. Oh, game on now. Despite the extra damage being done to Nexa by the nade. And the next frag has put G2 into con very big contention. There's the last one spotted. I don't think Valda saw him though and enables Nexa to catch him by surprise. 10 HP. 10 HP. He's so low. Oh, the flag. He's so low. It could spread. Nico just needs a bullet. A single bullet will do. And it does cut the mustard in the last second. We do see a ninth. Oi, oi, oi. Very close margin separating these two at times. But that was the case for some of G2's opening rounds. You don't forget how, how close it felt to OG. Just narrowly missing out on those conversions early. Oh, you reminded me how this one started. And if you consider that, of the last 10 rounds of play, G2 have only won one, right? So it has been truly one-way traffic in the second stage of this first half. And that one there got very sweaty. But here we go. The guns are back out once more. So buys are not the problem here. A 9-6, a 10-5. It's not terrible. And Valder, he wants to keep the pressure on. Aggression down mid. Ooh, aggressive line. Thought that was on him. Valder's still a threat for them. Jax has been having a real nightmare. Opening death in the last four. Four versus three immediately out of the gate. Like these early exchanges. It feels like the last few of these rounds, they just, they peter out into very early one-man disadvantages for G2. And OG know. always have that extra man. Yeah, and they, they don't look like they're too much under the pump. It's only when it gets oh. super late. And yeah, you have to do something cheeky if you're Nico there. Through the smoke, dead. Now, Aminek going to try the same. He's ready. So it's Mantu just checking it for the nutmeg. Now Nexa finds himself with a bomb. Catching the banana players something, and he's got himself a nice 50 seconds to work a 1v3. It actually forced Alexia and Mantu over, right? That deep banana spoke, Nexa respected it. But right now, it's drawn two players away from A. He knows Nico's top mid after that little exchange of bullets. He still has a full bag of utility here, so... Never mind. Oh, I'll stop. Where are they? Maybe the CT side, however, is something they're a little more comfortable on. The T side woes did get a little troublesome towards the later stages. OG managing to close into double digits. Oh, One expects dear. really, really leaning OG's way. One to six, the odds from the bookkeepers coming into our second map, second half. First game of the day. VP4 is next, Chatty. Yeah, that one might be exciting. A bit of a CIS derby. If VP have uh, had their breakfast cereal this morning. Well, they're just going to go B here. We got some mollies, we got some smokes, we got some flashes. Here we go. Okay, Nico. Oh dear, he's had a lot of bullets very early into the piece, and it's very hard for Amanek to hit anything from Emo. Oh, three frags. Even Coffins just gets nothing done. Nexa forced on down by the Glocks, and that's it. Three frags, simple as that. Bomb ticking. Right, Hunter, we've seen Hunter do, do something. More. He often does pull these pistol rounds back, and now it's Jax as well. Hunter 1v3. And this time. Oh, he's not going to try. He's not even interested. Does he not remember his ace yesterday? It, it was. It kind of started similarly to that. Yeah, just got a couple odd kills, and then it all accelerated, didn't it? Yeah, he's got some of the best crosshair placement there in like the chaotic scenarios where no one else would. Like he's just willing to clear corners and 
very quick movements of it. I wonder what his sense is actually. I reckon it's his breathing. Mm. If you just stay calm, it makes you breathe a difference. Yeah, because you're you're not you're not wiggling your crosshair around so erratically, right? You, you, the game is simple in premise. Put the crosshair on the bad guy's head and click, mm. right? In, in premise, it's just breathe. If you can stay calm in these situations, a lot of people jumping around, whizzing everywhere. Their crosshair's not perfectly placed. I think that sometimes can be a bit of a difference maker, but. 17 kills for Mantu, mind you. He's quietly gotten there, hasn't he? On my solo queue matchmaking adventures, Chad, I've been focusing on my breathing. Have you? Yeah, that's oh. been my primary focus, actually. That's good. And uh, I, I have positive results, very positive results. When, I, when I'm when i not breathing, when I'm focused on like all the wigglies and biblies, it gets chaotic. And speaking of chaotic, it, it's about to get very messy in mid. Back's a turn. Now, that's one way to counter the MP9 mid rush. Is a Mac 10 push up the second mid. Straight flanking them. G2, they put all of their eggs into that basket and now just a messy raw omelette all over mid. Ah, well, you're not getting through there, Nico. So I'm going to head around to the base of second middle here and see if he can catch Flames, who is peppered on down to 28. He does have the AK. So Flames is going to make his way as quickly as he can over to his teammates just for protection. Flames as well has had a bit of a blinder. He's up to 20 kills. So it's uh, been the Flames and Mantu show here with contributions of 12 kills from Nico, Alexi with 10, and 8 for Valda. But this is great stuff. OG have won three out of the four pistols in this series so far. I, 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 I'm trying to remember. I think G2 had an issue with pistols not that long ago. I think that was a problem with them. Mm, okay. So uh, never a great way to oh, start I, the game. I have a vague memory of Yanko just screaming, if they could just win a pistol, Yeah, Trace. That, that's yeah. like in my mind. Yeah, me yeah. too. So, look, three out of four in favour of OG means one thing. Yep. One for G2, if you guys can't do ah, that yourself. Ah, I see. Thank you for clarifying. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. I was enjoying the utility damage as well on the uh, CT side of OG. If you just have a look at it now, you've got 243 for Mantu, 240 for Volda, and 208 for Alexi. So Six kills exclusively through nades yeah. if you add that up. And that's not with Flames' 98, and then you add Nico, who's slacking. He's going to have to do his nade practice. Only 43 for Ugh, him. Terrible. Yeah. Now, they've got the uh, counter utility, should they feel like they're threatened up top B. They're waiting for the timing, but so are the T's. And then they swing around the corner. Flames reacts, as does Alexi to the sound cue. Good play so far out of OG. They've handled that nicely. Weapons not too threatening to be retrieved. A simple Mac 10 You definitely want to keep the AK at arm's length. And Nico and Valde are going to be hanging out in second middle. Yeah, at this point, with so much time on the clock and the CT's operating with very little, you can just sit pause, let the kills come to you, and if they don't, regather when you know that the coast is clear. Jax's Deagle is probably one you want to stay away from, and this is it. This is what I'm talking about. Nexa has to play for information so they can hedge on this CT side. He's about to walk into Alexi, who should be traded. No way, Jose. Alexi. Lovely stuff there, and that should be the B bomb site open for business. They're going to send Alexi in as that martyr to see how much room he can take. Sacrifices himself for the greater good of the round. And as he's running through, he's calling it clear. Jax is pushing to see what he can find, but he'll be too little too late. It will be Volder just waiting for him. Oh, did Jax see him? I think he did. I think he definitely did. Nice shot there. So, a Famous. It's not an M4. Yay. It's not an AK. Yeah, I know, right? It's like, <laughs> if it was an AK, you'd be like, yay, I'll save it. But because it's a Famous, it's like... Do I have to? Yay. It's the better decision. It just means I get to, have to I have to use it in the next round. Yeah. That's like the Hey guys, uh I I'll drop a famous. <laughs> no, we're cool, dude. Nah, nah you keep right. it. You keep right. you need the extra nades. You need the nades. Look after yourself. Yeah, treat treat. Hey, yourself. you saved it, man. You yeah. can you can keep it. Do you think Valve would ever touch the famous again? They probably will, right? I think when they balance weapons, it's not to be like what everybody thinks. Because they have but... touched it recently, didn't they, actually? Memory serve. Hang something on. Something with crouching, wasn't it? Something with crouching? Became yeah. a little bit more accurate. I, I don't have the exact... No, but they did. That. Once they were retuning the org, they gave the FAMAS a little look, but it wasn't burst fire like everyone begged for. Yeah, I, I just want the burst to be laser I, beam. I think that would be like a pretty interesting way to buff it. Like, the burst fire? Yeah. yeah. I think it would be like, like no one's going to suddenly carry it. It's not like an R8 revolver if you had bur a valid burst fire. I think because it's so cheap now, you have to worry about how much better you do make it. 
Like, I, I just want it to be able to, like, for example, against an eco, I want to confidently be able to sit at top A on, yeah. on long and just burst fire down and rip off some heads with good aim. Yeah. Right? That's that's kind of what I would be looking for. But uh, sure, I'm sure we'll see a lot of things as uh, we get into the gun rounds. Amanek, very brave. Very brave. Gets the leg onto Mantu here, but we'll be feeling the pressure. Alexi B, I think he's getting a bit ready for this. You wanted to kind of pounce on that. Orb, I think it I is think. an A pounce. He's got Valda set up in the apps already. So they are going to be using these quicker and more nimble SMGs. Oh, and Amanek, they strafe around his shot. He'll be smoked off now and a lot of space lost. Hail Mary no scopes is all he can contribute. Jackson Hunter with an awful lot to do. Bullets into the head. That was Alexi with a Mac 10. Why did it feel like a rifle? There's no one left. No one home, and G2 have to talk about the save. The ref, he's seen enough. He's seen enough in this round Throwing right in here. The towel. Look how quick that was. And it, it's fantastic that they're able to operate so quickly. Just the isolate Amanek with the AWP. Like, the leg shot onto Mantu, it feels like a lifetime ago, right? He did that damage out the gates, but it didn't slow them down. It didn't stop them. OG with a call from Spawn is what that feels like, right? This is what we're going to go for, and I'm sure that there would have been a cancel if, like, a Molly or a certain smoke or something came in, but just very, very quick about it. And that's 14. Just two more rounds required now. So this save from G2 is essential, but you're not going to get any more of those. They have to start going for these. So this is looking great for an OG 2-0. Wow. Yeah, I mean, this is just the most convincing and consistent I've seen OG out of the gate in a very long time. I mean, they're winning you talk, their map picks. They're winning their <laughs> map picks. That's a good place to start. Great to see uh, Flames having, you know, an off game and then immediately reminding us of what he is uh, capable of against a team like G2. I think, what's he at now? 20-something. 22, four flames, and behind him, Mantu, who was, uh, I mean, if you want to use consistency in OG, I think that would be my first pick. Yeah, I love watching Mantu. I think he's uh, a very, very handy player for con when you consider how little experience he had in the top tier before coming into this team. What, you mean <laughs> orping, uh, secondary orping in a German team? Yeah. Being his only orping experience? Yeah. Madness. Now he looks like an absolute he, gun. He does. You know, he looks like kind of like a little baby device at times, I feel like. Okay. Well, decision-making-wise, yes. I can definitely yeah. see, right? He, he always seems to make the right call. He never looks like he's flustered. He's no. always, he's always, always looks like his orbs in the, the place it needs to be. At least to that extent. Now that's a scary one for Jax. Oh, just staring into the gray void. There's so much on around the corner. He actually chooses to drop off. It baits them in. They jump straight on his head. They get goombered. And that might be it. Oh, don't. Th th oh, that might be it. Oh, it is it. <laughs> It is it. He was. He just jumped off. That was it. He, he just made one step, one he sound cue, and they like, pounce on him. Sometimes you just have to take that leap of faith. It's gone. And this Jax has had a horrible inferno. So like, is Amanek. Absolutely bizarre. I mean, don't forget that T side where everything Jax tried to do resulted in him just getting either the fast banana orb, he either caught the fast nades as he rounded the corner. I mean, he just really has had a nightmare. And he won't get another opportunity. I mean, this is going to be 15 for OG. G2 have to save uh, as they concede 15. It's no fun for anyone. Out of the last 16 rounds of play, G2 have won one. So remember, those four rounds were from a pistol, then conversion. Yeah. Right? That's where they got the, the first four from. And then since then, 15 rounds for OG and only one for G2. This is looking quick sticks, McGee. That's what I was about to say. I don't know where that no, came no, from. No, no. But watch Flames. Quick sticks, I mean, look. McGee. Rah! He's got more accuracy than you in the air with that SMG. Vlad, he's happy with that one. He's looking very happy. Having to show highlights of chickens getting killed. That's the, that's the best highlights we've had. Ooh. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> what can you say about this one? You can say um, the scores. You can say the result. Okay. I think the result's heading one way here. This would be 10 rounds on the trot for G2 just to take the game into overtime. Now, remember, this was G2's pick. Mm. Oh, yeah. Just a little louder there out of their depth at this point. But that's, not, I mean, that's not always the case. G2 just definitely looking a little shaken after their shortcomings versus the Sinners. Well, Yanko alluded to it on the desk. We are yet to see OG play Ancient, right? That could have been a punish pick for G2. Now, the problem with that type of a pick is you don't know how much prep and how much practice OG have on the map, but you're also going into a map that they're not tested in an official capacity on. 
Um, but they've opted to go to Inferno, which historically is a map OG like to pick. Yeah, and I don't know if it's just the Alexi fanboy within me, but I'd argue that I reckon he's probably got a pretty damn good understanding of how to, in his head at least, play that T side of Ancient. I'd love to see OG's take on it. Nico lines himself up for the flash to counter as he feels the B commit coming in. Next there in support, here is the Q. He's going to be flashed in by Hunter instead, I guess. He's got through to pull. 25 seconds. There's the Hunter flash. And the second does obscure his vision as well. It was a counter flash actually from OG. Slight lost. Hunter's going to try and contest here. Mantu's desperately trying to get the digits down. He does just evade the spray. And we'll get across to Emo as well. This could be it. You know, the setup's just strong. And they got Nico, Banana, Valda to receive. No nades for the retake. It's a very hard clear as well. The AWP could clear this. Amanek needs it quick. And oof, Mantu's just quicker. Jax's next victim. And looking to finish it is just Hunter. He's gone as well. OG, wow, that's a...